Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video we are going to make some garlic infused olive oil in a whipping siphon. So first off, why would you want to make garlic infused olive oil? Well, there's the cost aspect of it. I'm covering the label on a bottle of a local place that makes infused olive oils. This is like 18 bucks for this bottle. You can make it at home super cheap. Making it at home, even using a high-end olive oil, you're looking at about a third of that cost. And in terms of how you use it, you can make salad dressings with it, you can drizzle it over vegetables, you can even use my homemade mayo recipe, which I'll link to up here, and make yourself a nice garlic mayo. Now you can also make garlic-infused olive oil on the stovetop. Thing is, I've seen recipes that are really all over the place in terms of cooking time, anywhere from three minutes to 15 minutes. And with that, you really got to keep your eye on it because if you take it too far and overcook, you can get a bitter taste. Now, it's been a while since I've done a whipping siphon video, so I realize this is sort of a, a niche group of folks that are going to get into this, but it's pretty cool to be able to whip up a garlic-infused olive oil in less than five minutes, start to finish. Let's get to making it. For olive oil, I'm using this extra light olive oil just in case I want to use it for mayo, and I probably do. We're using 250 milliliters of olive oil, which is about one and a quarter cups. Then we have four cloves of garlic, which we'll crush with the side of a knife. And peel. These will go into our whipping siphon, along with our oil. Screw on our lid. Then we'll load up one cartridge of nitrous oxide. We'll invert our whipping siphon so that when we discharge our nitrous oxide, it all bubbles right up through the olive oil. Hear that? Now we'll give it three to five good shakes and we'll let this sit for about three minutes to let that garlic infuse. After three minutes we're gonna vent our nitrous oxide. I recommend using a kitchen towel over the nozzle just in case there's any sort of blowback. Squeeze slowly Smells garlicky. Then we'll screw off our top. Filter out our garlic, which I'll then save for later cooking. And then I'll transfer this into a dispenser bottle. Now you'll notice that it still seems kind of foamy and carbonated right now. That's gonna go away fairly quickly. We'll have a little sample from our measuring cup. Mm. Mm. It doesn't smack you in the face right up front with the garlic. It's a very balanced garlic flavor. The garlic sort of increases with intensity as you get towards the end of the taste. In terms of storage, this is probably room temperature stable, but I say probably. If you want to be sure, you can store this in the fridge. Pretty much everything I've read says you can expect this to last at least a month in the fridge. You will need to pull it out about 15 minutes before you plan on using it. Now, if you want a more garlicky flavor, you can either add a little more garlic or let it infuse for an additional minute. Also, you can infuse olive oil with all manner of different herbs, spices, etc. If you want to do a vanilla olive oil, do that. If you want to do a rosemary or thyme or sage or some sort of herb combination, go ahead. Take some orange peel, put that in there, and get yourself an orange olive oil. So to my subscribers who've been wishing that they'd get another whipping siphon video, I hope this one scratches your itch for you. It's a great, great use for a whipping siphon. 
If you enjoyed this video, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified whenever I release a new video, tap that bell. And if you're interested in supporting Serious Keto, you can tap that join button and see what some of the options are. No obligation. Thanks for watching.